Hello students, I am Ajay Karmarkar. Before starting video, I would like to tell you something. Please sit with copy pen. If you find somewhere important, pause the video, note it and proceed on. If you find somewhere difficulty, then please write in comment box. I will definitely solve your problem. And along with, please like, share and subscribe my channel that can reach more and more students. Thank you once again. Now here is the question. A bubble having surface tension capital T and radius capital R is formed on a ring of radius B, small b, here B is less than less than capital R, air is blown inside the tube with velocity V. As shown, the air molecule collides perpendicularly with the wall of the bubble and stops. Calculate the radius at which the bubble separates from the ring. This question is asked. J.E. Advanced 2003. In this question, we have given a soap bubble which is connected to the this tube, and here the air is blown, and here air force is exerted to the opposite wall of this balloon when it gets separated. When it is possible, it is possible only when this exerting force to the air is more than the surface tension or equal to the surface tension. This is our key point. Now here surface tension, here total surface tension is applied on the circumference of the ring. So therefore we have using 2 pi r in the place of r we have substitute b because radius of this ring is given b and 2t sin theta. Why we have using 2t because uh, free surface surface tension is applied on the free surface at free surface of the balloon that is 2 so therefore we have written 2t sin theta this surface tension is equal to the the force exerted the force exerted by the air which is blown inside the balloon and strike to the this wall so therefore we have to return here minus why we have taken minus because when it gets separated how is it possible? Then surface uh, this force exerted by the air is greater than the surface tension or equal to. So therefore, we have written here minus because its direction is opposite. Surface tension is applied to the left side, and here this force of air applied to the right side. So therefore, we have written minus a. Okay. Now, two pi b and two t sine theta. Here sin theta can be written as here theta from the center sin theta equal to b perpendicular and hypotenuse that is r. So it can be written as b by r. And here p uh, uh, here we have to return f in the form of uh, momentum, change in momentum. Second law, Newton second law, d uh, dt by dt. Is it okay? Now 2 to the 4 pi here b square t by r equal to minus d by dt in the place of momentum can be written as mb. So 4 pi b square t by r equal to here m get outside of this variable values here b is variable. Okay. So 4 pi b square t by r here mass here, what is the mass of this uh, balloon? That is area of cross section A and length, which is the length we have taken DL. DL density rho and uh, in the place of dv and dt can be written is here and dv. dv means change in velocity. So here change in velocity can be the final velocity minus initial velocity. And obviously final velocity of uh, this uh, air is 0. So therefore 4 pi b square t by r equal to in the place of area of cross section can be written as pi b square. dl by dt again it can be written as v here rho and uh, dv can be written as 0 minus v. Okay, so here pi pi cancel, b square b square cancel, then 4t by r equal to 
rho and minus minus become positive plus and v square and here r so sorry here r is already written so in next step r is equal to 4t by rho v square okay so here we get the r equal to 4t upon rho v square i hope so you understood this question thank you for staying till the end of this video definitely when will become success full contribution goes to your hard work but if my videos my lectures my questions will help in your success i will consider myself lucky please like share and subscribe my channel that can reach more and more students thank you once again take care bye bye